If you're looking for the best acoustic guitar pedals, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preferences ordered it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. If you want to get a good quality acoustic guitar pedals according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Boswaza Craft C2. Boasting an incredibly extensive range of stomp boxes, iconic guitar pedal manufacturers Boss has been setting the standard for decades. Many of their pedals are built upon the success of their early models, but one thing's for sure, Boss is always looking for ways to improve their effects. In my experience, Waza Craft Course pedals are perfectly suited for the natural timbre of an acoustic guitar. I was pleased to find that by recreating the classic sound of its predecessors, the C1 and the C2, the C2 houses several new features which propel it to new sonic heights. Right after plugging my acoustic guitar into the Waza Craft, I was able to choose between the standard C2 Course sound or the vintage tones of the original model. There's also a switch for engaging the smooth vibrato effects that are also housed within this analog acoustic guitar pedal. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Debbie Sound Wet Dreams. We set out to find an affordable chorus pedal to use with an acoustic guitar, and found the Wet Dreams by Debbie Sound to be highly recommendable. I particularly like that this analog chorus pedal is designed in a minimalistic fashion, with three rotary controls installed across the top half and a classic foot switch on the bottom. Based on our findings, the main reason that this pedal works so well with acoustic guitar is its ability to deliver a clean sounding chorus that interacts smoothly with the high-end harmonics and the rich low end of the instrument. The three parameters, which consist of depth, speed, and level, provide guitarists with the platform to sculpt the chorus tone to suit any style of acoustic guitar playing. The number three position is L by L, our bags align. Before analyzing this device, we were aware that the Align series by L. R. Bags includes some of the finest pedals specifically designed for acoustic guitar. As we expected, this particular reverb offering produces a plethora of stunning textures to soften the tone of your instrument. Designed to complement the natural dynamics and warm tone of acoustic instruments, the Align Reverb pedal features sophisticated analog circuitry which combines the wet and dry signal intuitively. Right off the bat, we were impressed with the way this results in a luscious blend of natural acoustic tone and space-enhancing reverbs. LR bags shape this reverb pedal with analog egg. This allowed them to reflect the natural reverbs that are produced when sound waves from the strings come into contact with the tone woods of an acoustic guitar. The tone control allows guitars to adjust the color of the reverb to suit the specifics of our instrument. Next at number 4 we have Kaline Wonderland. When I first encountered Wonderland by Kaline, I noticed that it is described by the manufacturer as being an ambient reverb machine. I was impressed to discover that this is a statement that is backed up by its impact on an acoustic guitar's tone. With a trio of rotary controls which are labeled Mix, Decay, and Shimmer, it soon became clear that there's plenty of space for adjustment. Some other features which caught my eye are the chassis of this Kaline reverb pedal, which is made from durable aluminum alloy, and the fact that it also boasts true bypass switching. Furthermore, I like the addition of the small LED indicator installed at the very top of the pedal which signifies clearly when the pedal is on or off. The number 5 position is held by Flam FS3 Guitar Delay Pedal. Compared to similarly priced and styled effects, I found that Flamma's FS3 Stereo Delay Pedal packs a considerably wide array of functions into a concise stomp box design. With classy, elegant aesthetics and easy-to-use controls, this delay pedal is ideal for acoustic guitarists like me, who want a simple way to add a sense of timing to their output. Housed within the FS3 or 6 traditional stereo delay effects, these range from classic tight double tracking to slapback style delay, which I'm very fond of. Or, I found that by using the onboard controls to push the pedal to its limits, I was able to create layers upon layers of motioning tones. The number 6 position is dominated by Wampler Ego Compressor V2 Guitar Effects Pedal. Here at Guitar Lobby, we love compressor pedals. Ego is a truly exceptional compressor pedal by boutique effects manufacturers, Wampler. Although I was aware that this pedal was originally designed to be used with electric guitar, after doing some research I noticed that it has amassed a loyal fanbase of acoustic guitar players due to its unrivaled ability to tame the instrument's dynamics. It's easy to think of compression as being a straightforward effect that doesn't vary from pedal to pedal. On the contrary, when I plugged into the Ego, it proved that compressors affect much more than just the dynamic range of an acoustic guitar. 
Moving on to the next at number 7 with Moore Yellow Comp. The aptly named Yellow Comp by Moore is a straightforward compressor pedal. After we tested it, we found it to be highly compatible with acoustic guitars. It produces classic, vintage-style optical compression, and I was really impressed with the functionality of its three rotary controls used to adjust the parameters. In the top left corner, you have the volume control, which acts as the input level. To the right, there is an E control, which adjusts the coloration of the compressed tone, and I found that this was particularly useful when using heavy compression with an acoustic guitar along with other effects that alter its tone. The number 8 position is held by Fender Smolder Acoustic Overdrive Pedal. After testing many devices, I came to the conclusion that adding overdrive, distortion, or any form of saturation to an acoustic guitar is notoriously difficult. I believe this is because the natural tone of the strings and the complex harmonics of the instrument mean that adding gain can result in a sonic disaster. If anyone's going to be willing to accept the challenge, it's Fender. I was very excited when I saw that the legendary guitar manufacturer has recently turned their attention to producing effect pedals that are exclusively for the acoustic guitar. This molder is undeniably one of their finest offerings. Next at number 9 we have TC Electronic Maja Mojo. When I first used the Maja Mojo by TC Electronic, I was blown away. This is a detailed overdrive pedal that has all of the necessary qualities to be used with an acoustic guitar. Considering that it's the flagship overdrive pedal of the prolific manufacturer, I found it to be very reasonably priced. I'm a huge fan of authentic tube overdrive, so when I learned that this pedal is designed to imitate the natural saturated breakups that are produced when a tube amplifier heats up, I was very excited to put it to the test. Impressively, I found that the Maja Mojo adds warm and rich overdrive to an acoustic guitar. It naturally responds to the dynamics of your playing, to create an authentic and natural effect. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Nux Stageman. The Stageman by Nux is a highly useful preamp that was specifically designed to be used with an acoustic guitar. This pedal is great because it provides guitarists with complete control over every aspect of the instrument's amplified tone, with ec, chorus, reverb, looping, and other capabilities. The Stageman is so extensive that I feel simply calling it a preamp doesn't do it just as. Due to the sheer number of options it provides, one could make a strong argument that this is a multi-effects pedal. The preamp quality was evident as soon as I plugged in my acoustic guitar. What sold me on this particular model was how it adds a touch of coloration and compression to the tone, highlighting the sweet spots in the frequency range of the instrument. Then, I was pleased to learn that you can choose to either keep things simple or experiment with the plethora of onboard controls. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos in every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.